Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to that, right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut out right. the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> 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 Dab on that bell. Hi, welcome to Heat Wave. My name <laughs> is Brian Belcher. Don't want to close my eyes. Jarris Mitchell here doesn't want to close his eyes. I don't want to fall. Brittany doesn't want to fall asleep. Because <laughs> Hutch is sitting there. <laughs> Hutch is sitting there. I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> and, and there's Chris. It's the Hutch Hutcherson. Welcome to Heat Wave. We're going to talk about video games and such. We tr- <laughs> this is, God and damn it. Such. And such. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of video game topics on this episode. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. Stop Usually just one at a time. Thing on I the table. I cut it out. That's that's <laughs> bad. Uh, fuck. Uh, what, uh, what, what's it called in the movies where they get the people who just do the sound effects? Grip? Dub? Grip. The I dub over? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, Jairus. Tell know. us what we're talking about first today. I want to talk about video game marketing. <laughs> What's your favorite like video game marketing thing? The one where they sent brass knuckles to all the uh, ga- video game journalists and then had to request them to be mailed back because they sent an illegal <laughs> weapon. <laughs> what what game was that? Yeah, what game yeah. was uh, I forgot. It was oh, it was an it was oh, it was um, Mafia Two, I believe. I think it's oh, one of the Mafia games. I that's think hilarious. EA sent them out, and they realized they did oopsie, and then sent a mail to everyone. Hey, send that shit back. To it's us. important <laughs> to put like the little nub on the inside so you can claim it's a belt buckle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. That is amazing. Or they could have made like foam ones or something. Yeah. They have to be real. That's hilarious. <laughs> that though. is amazing. I did not <laughs> brass. Brass is heavy, so it's got to be expensive to ship that. Yeah. I yeah. completely forgot about that. Yep, it's been a hot minute. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to say, actually, the game that we were referencing, Saints Row 4, they sent a bunch of journalists a three-foot-long uh, purple dildo bat. Mm, that oh, was good. The violator. <laughs> Didn't know about that. That was a real item that, that you can buy. That was a weapon in the game, right? Yeah, it's a weapon yeah. in the game, and they mm. made it real, and then they shipped it to a bunch yeah. of journalists. And I, I really want one. <laughs> 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 they go for about uh, $800 on eBay okay. though, when they pop up. Well, uh, oh, I would love to get that one. That's you one. should get your company to yeah, do make more a release. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a disaster. We have to put that in like tubes. You you would like, have now. To... I'm thinking of like how do we mail that out? <laughs> yeah, like, of course you I are. have to think of the logistics of like what well, box size we use for that. <laughs> and imagine the first day in the office when that box comes in. Oh, it's nothing but dildo fights. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there would sure. be dildo fights all through the building. Viz would lose her mind because, you know, all of the HR so we, problems. So we have, like, two guys who are on those, like, little Segway things that are, like, the two separate feet Segway. I don't know what they're the called. They're, they're, like, they're hoverboard, yeah, they're like but hoverboards. one for each foot. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they like to ride around the the office. And every time they do, my boss looks at me and goes, we're a dot-com company. Like, <laughs> he, loves to make, he loves to make that joke. Um, and then I would I could just see them, like, on those hover boards like oh, jousting, jousting, jousting yeah. oh yeah the, absolutely i mean they also go outside and skateboard and like run into each other so it's pretty yeah. close that's some nerd shit there's that we we are a we make fun of aren't, aren't you though. guys coming up with a skate deck too yes we have a skate deck coming yeah. out soon it's going to be exclusive at cons we're mm-hmm. not mailing it out wowie so we, Daya don't have to worry about that Thank God. oh yeah okay Daya Daya katana is my favorite Daya katana is uh john romero mm-hmm um, right after Doom Quake, uh, so he was not actually associated okay. with this marketing campaign. Uh, I talked, I talked to him literally a year ago this yeah. past week. I asked <gasps> him about it, really, because my boss has told me not to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and, so you're like breaking the rules, breaking the and, law, um, breaking the law. And I just straight up asked him. I was just like, "Was that a thing? Like, was that your idea?" And he was like, "No." So the guy who currently runs, um. Uh, what's that developer? Digital Devolver? Yeah. The guy who runs Digital Devolver came up with that advertising campaign. Interesting. What is it? uh, John Romero will make you his bitch. (laughs) So John Romero is the guy, one of the co-creators of Doom. I know who John Romero is. Thank you very much. I'm on his website, actually, so. That's right. You are on his website. Motherfricker. I forgot about that. (laughs) Your art? No. No, Picture of me. Oh. Pagging his game that we did at London Run. 
it's me like Brittany was the one girl tagging. so, so they, for a while i was the only girl on the shipping team so all the pictures were me i love mm. that it's also like your cleavage is out in it as well no i have a i you have, have a, a little bit of something there. no i don't it's just a regular t-shirt is it okay yeah it's a unisex t-shirt it's just a very cleavagey t-shirt i guess <sighs> it's not at all actually he's full of shit <laughs> <laughs> i remember he's, boobs he's building a secondary mental image that's how he wishes it was mm-hmm. maybe yeah. May- i'm not gonna deny that <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was for this game that was supposed to be like the next doom mm. called diakatana and it, it was wasn't. all it wasn't <laughs> number one it wasn't but they they took out all of these like full page ads in like game informer and, yeah. and magazines like that and it was just a black background with john romero will make you his bitch <laughs> yeah and it's just a picture of john romero great that's really funny actually uh which is why he like he was like the first rock star game developer yeah. at least in a western Jesus. culture it's mm-hmm. i'm so glad we're moving away from that yeah, yeah. because that's dumb and exhausting it is it is because yeah. every mm-hmm. game is made by multiple people like mm-hmm. i don't care right. even hideo kojima games mm-hmm. are made by a bunch of people yeah but and you, uh, yes you can always tell when you're playing a hideo kojima game <laughs> but it is a uh, it is a group effort yeah right? Um, but yeah, he, uh, he's an interesting person anyways. Like when I met him, I was in a closet with the two owners of the company I now work for. And we basically all started talking about jizz for a half hour. (laughs) As you do. Yeah. So so John Romero is a weird guy. Bless him. Uh, Mm. (laughs) I I started working for our company and within two weeks, I met John Romero. It was a really weird situation. Yeah, he just happened to be like popping by to sign a bunch of copies of stuff. Yeah. Hey, what up? Yeah. Uh, Like a month ago, we had the guy who owns Ubisoft show up. uh, Not Ubisoft, uh, THQ. Mm. And he was just there and like, I shot the shit with him for a minute and I didn't even realize who the fuck he was. That's awesome. really weird. Um. No, go ahead. Jumping back to the thing Sorry. and not just Brian bragging <laughs> Let me about bragging it. Brian, 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 get it, Brian. You've I got a it. job. Let me my video game dick out here. <laughs> Brittany, do you um, have an answer? Honestly, like I growing up, I don't remember hmm. hardly any marketing stuff for video games. Uh, what made me want to play video games was just going to friends' houses and they had a console that I yeah. played with them. Um like the only game, the only commercials and stuff I can really remember are like the uh, the Crash Bandicoot outside of Nintendo, just like yelling with a megaphone. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just super into Where they that. They had the big furry costume. Yeah, yeah, and he's like little head is coming out of his mouth or whatever. Um, that was probably my favorite, just because it was like really annoying and disruptive, <sighs> and I was like into that chaotic energy. <laughs> there was some total '90s <laughs> well, that was, energy. That was yeah. the beginning of the Nintendo's for Kids campaign. Really, yeah. because, like Sega started it, but Nint- uh, PlayStation mm-hmm. really. It was just like this is a console yeah. for they, adults. Yeah, they had a lot of Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like they, the Crash Bandicoot. They had a lot of good fun ads games. in the nineties. Like mm-hmm. one of my favorites is the, their Jet Moto ad. It's yeah. basically a um uh a, a play off of a cops episode where they pulled over the dude on his jet thing. Is he like, <laughs> you, have a, you have a license for this? And then he just runs away. <laughs> and then eventually, like, uh, he finds him in someone's backyard. He's hiding under a kiddie pool. He <laughs> kicks it and goes, freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, there was a yeah. The nineties were a really interesting time because that's when all of the games were trying to be edgy and cool. Yeah, and super hip. extreme. Extreme. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also a big fan. I think the Halo games do a really good job marketing themselves. They, they, the Halo Three specifically <clears throat> for me had a really amazing like toy marketing campaign mm-hmm. where they had this like amazing mock up toy setup and they just did like really big close ups of stuff and oh, it was just yeah. like that was when they serious. did they did yeah, the yeah, yeah. Right. like this this fiction where a person mm-hmm. is in a yeah, like, museum mm-hmm. uh, they like interviewed a fake veteran <clears throat> of yeah. the war of the oh, war really? that, that they're in really cool. and it was mm-hmm. super awesome <clears throat> and they were like i remember seeing master chief yeah <laughs> 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 like he was they, a god among men or some bullshit but so one of my favorite things to do is to like go back and watch old commercials yeah. like that yeah um, Halo Three also did I Love Bees, which was oh, yeah, like the, the ARG. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
that that's was just intense. a weird website that was about bees and then <laughs> like people are doing cryptographic analysis on mm-hmm. images and finding like coded messages from oh, master cool. chief i had a friend who went to one of the boston sites oh. where they had like an actual like meetup yeah. over one of the arc things they were like be at this point uh, at this time, at this date, and whatnot, yeah. and they showed up, and like there was a clue underneath a brick, huh, in the walkway. It was really crazy, and that was the continuation. That was the next That's clue for wild. the thing. They actually took up some of the brick <clears throat> in the on the fucking city, and put a clue underneath mm-hmm. it. It was kind of intense. Wow. It's like geocaching, but weirder. It I, was. I love geocaching. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that all the time when I was you unemployed. You want to knit and geocache. Yeah, it's you'd be, true. You'd be down for that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the Kevin Butler ads for a PlayStation. Those were great. Yeah. Those were great. The Kevin Butler ads. I'm so sad that they got rid of him because he did an ad for a Nintendo DS. Uh, as well. I think so. Something like, like that. They got rid of him because he was the... He was the uh, I'm in charge of all of PlayStation guy, mm. and he's just like, "Hey, guess what? PlayStation Four is now two fifty instead of like four hundred dollars or some shit." And he'd walk around like, "You like video games? We got video games. Here's some bullshit cool ass video games." <laughs> and it was just like straightforward, like marketing that would appeal to any gamer. Yeah, it was just like. What do you want when you play video games? Good video games. It was no marking spill. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, check out these cool ass video games. That was it. It was perfect. Hmm. Um, but then they ended it because he also did like, he was a dad in like a Nintendo DS commercial or some shit. Yeah. Well, he, by the time that happened, like that campaign was, was it's pretty going done. on for, yeah, it was pretty done. It was like but a three year old campaign at that point. They tried to have, um, a kick off a side one with the, the, the PS Vita with this kid named Marcus <laughs> and he was in Vita. for like two <laughs> commercials. I mean, the, Sony didn't really attempt to do Vita stuff anyways. Yeah. Really. You guys remember that really fucking weird commercial for one? of the playstation consoles i can't remember which one but it had the like weird baby oh the playstation that was 3, 3 yeah. Yeah. commercial yeah, yeah it was I so hated bad that thing. what the, i don't know it's like a weird there's this weird cube and then there would be this baby in it and it would just like start crying and start <laughs> saying like backwards adult male voices and then like We've got the games. It was PS3. Super, and that was it. It, it was, was so bizarre. Is that, creepy. is that where Kojima got the Death Stranding? Maybe. Probably. Like it's mm-hmm. I, probably. Mm-hmm. The, but the PS3 launch day <laughs> ads were terrible. Yeah. For, I especially remember for a six hundred dollar game system. Yeah. So I, I don't really have a whole lot of my memory bank, but that's one I have. Definitely not my favorite, but so speaking <laughs> it's of one lo- I remember. Hey, speaking nightmares are fun <laughs> too. Speaking of launch day ad campaigns, the PlayStation Two had one of the best launch day ad campaigns of all time. One with like the globe and the nanites. Yeah, it was the PlayStation Nine. They were like, it just they were. It was an advertisement for this future game console mm. where like all these nanobodies go inside this person's brain and they experience all this amazing, cool video game shit. Yeah, and they're like, imagine what the future is. And then they're like, here's the beginning of our path to the future of the PlayStation Two. Play the- Zone <laughs> of the Enders. Zone of the Enders was bad. And yes. the Jam Pack. Yeah, come play so. Sonic Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> the worst version of it. <laughs> oh god, it was awful. Um, I will. Speaking of Sonic, mm, Final well, Fantasy X two. <laughs> I love that game. I, I love that game too. <coughs> I will fight for that you, game. You <laughs> would. We'll fight for it, people. Dude, that game was, came with controllers that were just two pairs of guns. It's like bayonetta. <laughs> <light. laughs> right. Um, my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite commercials though was uh for Sonic two. And it was where they take the game cartridge and the game thing, and they're like, it even makes Julian fries. And they were like trying to like soak up like uh, uh, stains on your couch with the Sonic 2 cart. Okay, oh yeah, and they remade it that. recently for Sonic Mania. It's like an infomercial. Yeah, type and it's just deal. like this dumb infomercial. It's like Sonic 2, not only can it be this a really fun <clears throat> game, but it does all this other household yeah. chores for you. And it sold me. And it actually, they made this whole. Sold them. <laughs> it did. I was. I had yeah, me a Sonic. <laughs> I never played Sonic before at this point. That was the reason I started playing Sonic. Oh, really? That yeah. was what got you into so it. I huh? I got my Sega Genesis on Sonic Tuesday. Uh, they had a whole please, campaign for please it. Please don't ever do that again. It was. That's what it was. It was Sonic Two came out on Sonic Tuesday. It came with a. If you bought it that day, if you bought Sonic Two and a Sega Genesis, you got Sonic One free. And my parents bought it and hid it for me till Christmas. 
That explains so much about your brain. And you were just so thrilled about Sonic Tuesday. Sonic Tuesday! I yeah. was so hyped about well, it. Well, now we have to talk about Mortal Monday and Fatal Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can, can you on. guess the game? Oh, well, I mean, Mor- that's basically Mor- Mortal, it. Mortal Kombat. I Mortal assume. Kombat. Yeah, Mortal Kombat Two was Mortal Monday, I believe. I don't. Fatal Frame. No. Fatal Frame. Oh no, Fatal I, Fury? I thought they did a Fatal Friday for Mortal Kombat as well. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, fatality. Fatal some shit. Fatality. Fatality. Mm. <laughs> oh, that didn't feel good. Don't supersize that. <laughs> nope. Um, I, 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 one of the ones I remember from childhood is. Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario has this really stupid ass jingle. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, we, uh, when we did Cinco de Mario, we uh, put all the Mario advertisements on there. Mm. And my favorite one was always the Dr. Mario ad that would come There's up. There's a lot of really good ads in that little. He's got the cure. It was cool. It was great. There's a lot. Uh, for the other one that would do would be the Dr. Mario Game Boy commercial, which was. Pure, pre, pretty racist, but it had this like voodoo guy who's just like, mm. yeah, Here comes witch doctor, da, 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 da. and it just changed all the lyrics to like Dr. Mario lyrics. Mm-hmm. It's really weird. And I then he would that. just like bang on this kid's head and be like, oh, I'm playing Dr. Mario now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bizarre. Man. But I love those 90s ads. TLDR, the 90s were fucking weird. Halo does good things. Um, uh, Only one more. Um, I will say that. The best uh, uh, N- Nintendo ad, in my opinion, <clears throat> ever. Just real quick. Nope, we're done. Was for no, Sonic- we're done. Oh, I'm doing this. Sonic Mario Run had the best one. A fucking mobile uh, game, but it just had all these like kids running like Mario, making Mario sounds, and it like was so good. It even was like I got sentimental watching it. <laughs> and then it's for the dumbest <laughs> fucking game ever, but it was just an amazing ad. Did you say Sonic Mario Run? No, or? no, Super Mario Super Run. Mario Run. He did say <clears throat> Sonic Mario Run. I like first. Sonic a lot, okay. y'all. Sorry. Is that like Sonic? Is it like a Temple Run game? But it's it's Mario, but like ba- yeah, yeah. yeah. Except you one button and it makes him jump. He automatically he runs. automatically runs, and you have to hit the button to make him jump and shit. So. It's an okay game. <laughs> yeah, fucking mobile games. Have yeah. you? Did you see the uh, Super Mario Land uh, or Super Nintendo World thing? The commercial. I haven't seen it the... yet. No. Okay, it's kind of similar to that. Okay. In ways. Yeah. Um. The only, yeah. The only <laughs> last one I would say is that the Pokemon commercial from the twenty or the twentieth anniversary recently, where they had a guy who was just like having an everyday boring like life at office, and he was just like having a hard day. Yeah, it resonated he, with you. Yeah, and he walked. <laughs> yeah, he walked down this road, and he walked past this game store. And he's just like looking in it, and it's the brand new Pokemon, right? Yeah. And then it goes into his head, and he just remembers getting the original Pokemon yeah. when he was a kid. And he just had some bunch of happy memories. And he goes in the store, he gets the new Pokemon, he goes home, and he has more happy memories or whatever with the new Pokemon. It's a, I it was bought a good my original Pokemon at <coughs> a Toys R Us in yeah. Winston Salem, North Carolina. Yeah. I borrowed it from Joe. I have, <laughs> I have so many memories from that Toys R Us. Oh yeah, my god, man. that's crazy. Yeah, I've got quite a few. Yeah, too. I played Mario sixty four in that one mm-hmm. on like these giant screen. They had yeah. like a demo set up. So yeah, the Toys R Us kids commercial is a pretty uh, like video game ad in general too. Like they did that quite a bit, and I was like, yeah, okay, cool. That's where I'm going to go buy video games. Five video games, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We'll take five video games, please. Want to see us perform live? Use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey, everybody, we're back, and I want to know which video game console could kill a man. The original Xbox. It actually had a warning in the manual <laughs> that said, like, it had a, even, like, a, a scientific display of a baby underneath the console. <laughs> it said, do not let this console drop on a baby. Like, I'm going to look this up, and if that I can find it, I'm going to put it in the okay. thing. I remember. Objection. Because it's question, like a 10-pound console. Yeah. Her question was, what console could kill somebody? Uh-huh. Babies aren't people. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. Got so, it. Okay, They're imagine, eventual people. Okay, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> Theoretical just, people. Let me paint this picture. <laughs> let me paint this picture for you. You're about to go into a street fight. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you have an array of consoles at your disposal. Mm-hmm. And okay. you have to pick one to I take got, with you I'm to the street ready. fight. Are we including the controllers or yeah, just? Yeah, okay. you can take the controllers too. All right, I'm ready. So which one are you taking? Nintendo Switch. Okay, yeah. why? Nintendo Switch nunchucks. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> okay. yeah. Like, 
Yeah. That's how you, you get them in TMT. You TMNT. You can like whip them in the head with it and then <laughs> you, you can choke, choke them. them out with the cord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. GameCube. Yeah. I was going to say GameCube because it has, it has that handle. handle. <laughs> you it can like just bash yeah. someone's and head And you cannot <laughs> destroy a GameCube. Yeah. yeah that's true. It'll and hold up to a lot of punishment. It's like made out of the same thing and the could bludgeon the fuck out of a man with a GameCube. That's a street fight nightmare. It's just Britney with a GameCube in each hand spinning around in a circle. Arms raised. I am coming for you for your blood. Yeah. Okay. Human yeah. Beyblade. <laughs> Human Beyblade. I'm updating my resume right now. <laughs> Clutch. That was going to be my answer for the, the exact same the reason. Yeah. Okay, so the GameCube. Uh, okay. I think the GameCube is winning. All right, um, let's pretend the GameCube is not there. So the original Xbox is a really big piece of But machine. I feel like that would be really... I mean, sure, it could probably kill somebody, but in a street fight, a I don't know shield. if I'd want to pick that up. It'd be like yeah. a holding a center block. You could get one good throw out of it. Right. You better hope that your aim that you yeah, hit you kill them. Yeah, you get them. Because if not, that's it's a lot of work for nothing. Okay, here's my here's my other option. PlayStation 4. It is sharp. Yeah, if, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you get the way it's basically Razor's Edge, mm-hmm. if you throw it with enough force yeah, just, and the right slice, trajectory. Slice someone right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like shirking it out and go whoosh. Just yeah, and if you them. get a PlayStation uh, 4 Pro, it's even got more weight behind it. Mm-hmm. So. so I think part of the problem is that all of the game systems look exactly the same A now. lot of them now do, yeah. So it's yeah. really like, what do you want? Do you want a box? Mm-hmm. A defensive box? Yeah. <laughs> or do you want... Do you like want something, some, something some, that could actually, yeah. It's either something you. that has a slope with a sharp edge, right? Or so the Virtual Boy has the stand, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you can just, use that you, to stab somebody. <laughs> you could also use it defensively. Yeah, yeah. To kind of like ward, or mm-hmm. just like a trip. Mm-hmm. But that's that's really just bringing a tripod to a fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you, you can detach because... it, and all of a sudden you've got you know a shield with your sword. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love yeah. it. Um, I would have to say that the Atari Jaguar would be a pretty good uh, system to kill a man with too. Either because it has a similar like PlayStation Four design with that like that like jagged edge. Mm-hmm. So you're sharpening down the front of your Atari Jaguar. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Or you could just have them play them and th- play it, and someone will kill themselves. Yeah. <laughs> So, because uh, the Atari Jaguar is a trash machine. What games are on that? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is Sad. the one that asks you if you where did you learn to fly the green the green head. No, what? Okay. <laughs> are you having a stroke? Hutch? I am. Please. <laughs> I mean, this is what this is what happens. He's actually played an Atari Jaguar. This and, is what and this happens. was the only game that was on there. No, this was like from an AV, AGN episode. I forget what the, the freaking game's called. But if you like crash your ship, there's a big green like woman, bald woman head that goes, "Where did you learn to fly?" <laughs> That's so bizarre. It's a real bizarre thing. Doesn't that, isn't Doom on that get the console? Yeah, that, uh, Doom's so, on everything. Yeah, no. Doom, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Doom is on my toaster, which doesn't have an LCD screen. But that's beside the point. I think there's also, also like Star Wars Arcade is on there, but I don't know. Yeah. So I think um, most of the consoles would be bad weapons. I think what you want to go for is the controllers. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if we were going well, with a controller. You want one for wire then. You want, yeah, you, you definitely, definitely want, want to go wire. older, longer no. cord. Mm-hmm. So it's either um, the Wiimote okay. with the nunchuck attachment. It's got a lock on and everything. Yeah. Um, and you have to go with the strap disabled uh-huh. yeah, so well, that so you attached. can actually throw it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get caught. <laughs> you don't want to get hung up. You have to gnaw up. your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Or literally any other controller before uh, this generation of controllers. You know I what? feel like the N64 controller could really take do yeah. some damage. I think that would be a better um, grappling hook. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like I would use that to get up on a building. You know what? I've got another actual console that would be good for uh, bludgeoning. Brian's okay. going to like deep, deep console knowledge. <clears throat> uh, no, this is, this is a basic ass one, but I forgot about it. The NES. You know what you can do with the NES? What? The original NES? You can stick your fucking hand in there. 
<laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and you can hold on to it with your fingertips. Yeah, you can fucking smack the it's shit like out glove. of people with that. I thought you were gonna go a different direction, which is convince somebody to put their fingers in it and then just close it. Oh yeah, yeah. well you can do that too. <laughs> See, I'll never think about that because like finger dismemberment is like oh, oh, I can't oh, do yeah. it. Yeah. He, he really that's my thing. But uh, if you put your hand in there, you got two big bludgeoning devices yeah. now again. It's GameCube tactics still. I'd still prefer a GameCube, <laughs> but if you had an NES, yeah. you could do it. I think the PlayStation 9 would also be a good thing because it's mean, just yeah, a glass just... sphere and you could just bash someone's head in with it. <laughs> or you could pro- reprogram the nanobots in it to, make... to just eat a person. Yeah. So yeah. I always like made this connection. I'm sure everyone else in the fucking world did too when the Nintendo Switch came out. Like mm. a Switch blade. You can mod like a Switch blade into oh, yeah. the like, Joy-Cons. Uh, there was a GIF of that already. Yeah. Like, it just yeah, I just you like push the button and then it like whoosh, comes out. A blade comes out. Yeah. <laughs> they, really, they really missed oh, an God. opportunity to make the Nintendo Nintendo Switchblade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That have been like that logo my first does knife exist fight. Out there. <laughs> the game would have been my first knife fight. It's just like little kids like <laughs> stabbing each other. By the way, um, we should probably put out a disclaimer that please don't sue us if you if you do any of these things. Don't don't do any of these things. <laughs> this is only we, for fun. We, we can't be responsible for, for Joey's first laceration. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> If you're going to teach your kids to knife fight, don't use a Nintendo Switch blade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I'm trying. I think we're speed running it's this It's nerve episode. or nothing. Uh, yeah, this segment is pretty this is done. Well, yeah. no, we, the, the thing is, is that like the GameCube is perfect for this. The yeah, GameCube I feel the like Switch the perfect one is the GameCube because yeah. of the like, handle. We came to that conclusion. And, man, and it's pretty sturdy, too. Like Maybe the top will like pop off, but, but it's whatever. still don't good. Need that. It's a goddamn yeah. cube. People like, have set that console on fire, and it still worked afterwards. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. I've seen the console get dropped off of a five-story building and then set on fire, and then it still worked after mm, that. I don't believe that. I'll show you the video. It's okay. on the internet. Well, show it to me. Though. I'll bet it's, it's, I bet it's Photoshop. Must be true. <laughs> <laughs> you can Photoshop videos. Uh, yeah, you sure can. How do you think they made them dang old Marvel movies? <laughs> <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> but yeah, tell us what your favorite console is to kill a man. <laughs> this will be evidence in a future legal case. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Heat Wave, where we're just stacking up evidence mm. for future crimes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hey guys, welcome to Soda Club. I'm so glad that these stupid things can exist in our silly little podcast world. Uh, today we are doing Ramane. Ramane. Uh, hey. And, hey. Uh, Hey. I think we so I think we've all had ramen except uh, Jairus, which I'm surprised by because he's actually been to Japan. Yeah, <clears throat> but Where did this you get is these from? Like, I got these from um, you know the uh, world market uh, known as Food Lion. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, they actually do sell these at World Market. Yeah, so. yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I, I, I realized my joke. Wait, I'm staying in an actual place. I should bring yeah. it back to the actual joke. <laughs> um, so we have a. Um, I haven't tried all these flavors. Yeah, I haven't tried all these flavors. There's a original flavor. Um, Ooh, that, original. I've only ever played. I've only ever had strawberry and an orange. I've, I've had the orange before. So let's let's start with. Now the orange is gonna fuck our palate. No, no, let's do original. We gotta start with original. Yeah, we gotta start for original. So. Um, um, there's a fun process of opening these, um, and uh, we'll give Jairus the first on. Well, actually, we'll have Brian uh, show it off. Yeah, let me show you how to do yeah. this, Jairus. And then you can have the honors of yeah. the other two. Yeah, so, I've never had original. I don't know what that I don't means. know what original is supposed so, to taste like. So, there is, so this uh, drink is being kept okay. closed by I'm a marble to, in, the, uh, in the top of it. <laughs> yeah, so, so there's a marble it, that closes it. Uh, closes it off. So you take this little cap here. And you put it on top, and you, and the marble drops into this little co- occupying space, Ooh. which is really that's the funnest part about this whole thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try some of this original shot, flavor. Shot, 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 shot. This is a fizzy boy. This is a fizzy boy. Everybody in the club getting fizzy. All right. Hey, everybody. Whoop. It's a heat wave. It's a heat wave. Another squad. I don't like this. No. 
Me either. It tastes kind it of tastes like, like a cleaner. Yeah, yep. it tastes it, kind of like peppermint. Like there's a little bit of a mint somewhere in there. I, but I, it just was, tastes like it tastes like fizzy was, sugar water. I was thinking licorice. Yeah, kind of licorice y, kind of yeah. like Jägermeister type thing. No, this is bad. Yeah, I'll get a, a spittoon. A spittoon? A spittoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it tastes like what you'd imagine Windex would taste like. Wow, that was impressively bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. Bummer, man. Like, I was not expecting that because I actually really like. <laughs> This next flavor. Oh, wow. Brittany actually did this. Uh, I actually drank all mine, but. Oh, I couldn't bear it. Yeah. So are we going orange or. Let's go strawberry. Strawberry, I know, is good. Strawberry. But I think orange will be overwhelming. Our palates are going to be fucked. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we did orange well, uh, sorry, original first. I didn't break out the oyster crackers <laughs> to like, cleanse our palates. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so I first found out about this drink. I saw an anime. It's a Dagashi. Um, I forgot. There's another part to that name, um, but it's basically an anime about um, a, a Japanese snack uh, uh, shop owner, and uh, they every episode they do a different that uh, is the fun part. Um, <laughs> Japanese snack. Ramen was one of them, so it's kind of surprising to see that they had it uh, at freaking Food Lion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Food Lion's actually getting a lot better with this that. This one is slightly pinky. So yeah, this is the clear. one I like. Okay. The last time I had it, though... Objection. Like, leading the witness. <laughs> Sorry. Sustained. Do you think the marble helps with the flavor? No. No. It's just... It's literally Fine. a gimmick that I mm. love. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's a very strawberry flavor. Oh. That's... <laughs> I like this one. That one's better. I like this one, yeah. I like it a lot better. So this one tastes like the... Really um, taste all the beaver anus. <laughs> But it's a premium carbonated soft drink. <laughs> That's what it says. Premium carbonated product. Naturally so, flavored. This tastes like a pixie stick to me. Yeah. yeah. Mm. These all kind of have like a LaCroix-ish element where it's mm -hmm. a light, fuzzy... It's more sugary, though. It's seltzery. It's but made it's, with it, real sugar. So, like, you could recreate this by getting an unflavored LaCroix or a club soda. Yeah. And then dropping a pixie stick in it. Yeah. The, but I, I, honestly, I think the real appeal is opening it. Yeah. I think opening it's fun. So yeah. I, I want to read you guys the caution label on the side. Oh, it boy. It says, ask an adult to open the bottle for you. <laughs> they already Beans. assuming that a child is drinking this. Yeah. <laughs> um, do not remove the mouthpiece or marble from the bottle. Do not play with the bottle. Discard after consumption. Do not store this product in the freezer or expose it to high temperature. Do not consume no, if any part of the bottle of is things. broken. I really want to do all these things. I really want to break the bottle <laughs> and then it open says, and get the marble. Serve chilled for best results. <laughs> well, we did do that at least. Yeah. <laughs> so the last time I had this exact drink, I was in um uh I just forgot the name of the city. Um Cleveland? Was, Oregon. Uh, um, Oregon, the Portland. city of Oregon. Portland. Portland. <laughs> I was in Portland, Oregon. And I just had the best ramen of my life. And I was like, fuck it, give me a ramen. <laughs> you, you washed it down with this trash? I did, I did. And it, but to be fair, I had been working and hadn't eaten for like 12 hours. And it was the best thing ever. <laughs> the ramen or this? Both. Everything was just like, I was down. And the ramen was like super savory. So the what flavor sweetness did you get? Strawberry. strawberry. I always go strawberry. I'm really scared about orange right now, though. I think orange will be fine. Mike. I, so I tried the orange the other like, night, and you're like, "I'm a goddamn adult. Why am <laughs> no. I drinking this?" <laughs> no, I like. Admittedly, I'm a <laughs> lot less of a soda person than the rest of you. Yeah. yeah. Um, in that I did don't drink sodas. Um, so it's it's like super sugar tastic. It kind of it kind of tastes like if you took a Lacroix and then. <laughs> oh! Ooh, you got that, that, that excitement that was just way too much for Brittany. <laughs> it tastes like adding a bunch of sugar to a Lacroix. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm like, eh. which those drinks are out there too, like yeah. things exactly like that. Mm. So this one is orange, but it is clear. Like, yeah, the other strawberry one was slight, the only one that had the color tinge to it. Yeah. But this yeah. one, it's all the good beaver. I'm gonna be real. Like my empty stomach is really Wrecking hating with me this. right now yeah oh. we kind of yeah i'm so sorry <laughs> don't worry food club is coming up we should have a snack club speaking food of club's coming speaking up. of which uh -oh. i have a a uh, food club ready in the wings oh boy 
Also, uh, we had. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll get to that. Are we doing the shot thing? No, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lighter orange flavor. It's the stra- the strawberry is very it tastes medicinal. Just, that one is very sugary to me, like more than the others. Actually, I agree. Mm. I agree with Jairus that that tastes kind of medicinal. <sighs> I can see someone I'm, enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, like I I can see someone enjoying all of this. Yeah, but you know what? Be, you know what? This would be really <laughs> good. But, uh, this would be better as like shaved ice. This yeah. flavor. I could see that. You should make some mm-hmm. ice with ramen. I might try that actually. You know what's weird is that I've had this before and I enjoyed it. And I don't remember what flavor it was because... There's these a purple one, isn't there? Three are, I don't know. Like, the first one was terrible, but like these other two are okay. I but I'm not sure I would just be like enjoying it. I, like, does Foodline have a weird uh, like one of these? Is like ru- I got all. all they have like a Foodline brand they there. No, it's called like Mountain Challenge or something. No, these were sitting right next to the pocky sticks. <laughs> of course they were. Mm, yeah, this is the ethnic aisle. It yes, it, well, the e- ethnic section <laughs> of the, um, they don't the have condiment aisle. aisle. <laughs> it's not even a full aisle. <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's right next to the taco shells, like. <laughs> So oh, those are on the other side of the aisle, but yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. There's the Taco Bell aisle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to the Asian market and buy one of these because I kind of want to compare and contrast and see if Food Line is different for some reason. Because I, I remember enjoying these more. Well, I, you also used to drink four gallons of soda a day. Yeah, and I've cut yeah. down on and that. You've, yeah. I've cut down on soda, so. So that could be it, maybe. I don't well, know. I feel like, I actually, well, so we've tried this once before on stream. Mm. I think it was the orange one. And I remember <laughs> uh, uh, liking it. Just got me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's name brand, so. Yeah, yeah. if it looks the same. Mm. It's name <laughs> Maybe some off-brand fucking ramen. Right? How the hell do you pronounce this anyways? Ramen? Ramen. 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 I think I've called it Ramon before. <laughs> Ramon. I kind of do want to throw it at the wall, though. Mm. You want to get that marble out. Yeah. I don't think this glass is really thick. I don't think you could break it. I, yeah, you got to pop that top. Now, this could kill a man in a I fight. I think we could. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um so if you uh, switching gears but staying on the topic of soda, have you guys seen the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar? I've seen the uh mm-hmm. advertisement for it. It's fucking <laughs> <Just> awful. <laughs> it, it, it it's aspartame and it tastes oh, just as God. bad as the fucking diet. Oh, yeah. we should have brought that too. I, I, well, well, soda club. Dew, when though. I tried it the one time, I knew I was never going to buy it again. Oh, so okay. <laughs> they were not getting his money. <laughs> no, no. So, but Jungle Boy did buy like a two liter of it because he he drinks Diet Mountain Lightning, and so <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's. He, he 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 loves would. that shit. I like that it's specific, like off brand too. Like he I'm, likes that flavor better. He than likes probably. getting a nice three liter of that. He, <laughs> no, he's for eighty does. cents. <laughs> he is legit lined like the wall of, next to the kitchen table with like two rows of Ma- Diet Mountain Lightning. Like wow. it's like that much of an addiction for Mountain Lightning, him. not Mountain Thunder. Uh no. It, not, I mean, whatever. Is that Doctor Lightning, Doctor Perky, <laughs> Doctor Perky's Mountain Lightning in a bottle. <laughs> dot com. The Fresh Maker. I don't know. The Fresh Maker. <laughs> 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 Oh, well, once Fuck again, that. Hutch, thank you for bringing this trash into our lives. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, who wants to try this? Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's good. Oh, no. Uh, I did it. hate you. you. Why do I <gasps> like you? Why do I spend time with you? That's the best one. No, I don't believe no, you. That's so much better all together. I don't believe you. It's so much better all together. I, don't, I, don't all I together. think you're a liar and a criminal. I, I dare <laughs> any of you are going to, to go that. to jail. It's so much better all together. No. Oh. Here, no. get it together. No. Will no. Not. No. 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 Stop. So, so there's the pink. Can I taser I'm him? I'm calling the police. There's the original. Let me Let me see. I'm dialing. I've dialed nine and one, and if Brian doesn't it's stop, better, I'm gonna better call. It's better as all three. It's not. It's better as all three. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll fucking buy. Give me here, here, here. Uh, 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 Here's all three flavors. It's better as all That's, three. As he hands me two, pretty. What the fuck? <laughs> 
I'm Who feeling the fuck it, are I'm these feeling cool boys? Little trash boys. It's better as all three. He's gonna wash their little crawfish in it. <laughs> <laughs> the little raccoon. Wow. <laughs> yeah, raccoons would love those because yeah. it's got the little, Marble. little, got the little jangle, in jangle in it. Hutch's face is saying no. No, it's a no. <laughs> I don't. It's weird. I don't know what flavor this. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't like it. My human brain can't comprehend it's the not, flavor. It's not I'm good. Discovering new flavors. <laughs> it's not good, but it's not Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. I'll give it that. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Perfect. I hope that's your criticism for like things that you really hate. Like this is Mountain Dew Zero Sugar level. <laughs> that's like zero yeah. out of ten stars. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Um. Thank you for taking us yep. on this ride, Hutch. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to end this episode because Frank is getting into their cupboard. <laughs> 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 All right. Shitty cat. Well, bye, everybody. Bye. Be back in a sec. Congratulations. I have diarrhea now. <laughs> <laughs> you got the social medias? We got the social medias. You got the Facebooks? We got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters? We got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams. We don't really use that one too much, but, you know, we're on there, too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey, welcome to our last segment for this week. And this week, we have a surprise. We are going to be... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to be playing Bop It. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess what? I've never owned Bop It. I've always wanted to own Bop It. Now I own Bop It. And we're all going to Is this try one of the newer ones, though? That this has is the like... original. Oh, is this, okay. Does it have twerk it? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, because there's like a newer version that has extra shit on it. That's not the original version. The original version was just a tube. Well, it's the one that I got. <laughs> all right. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's got a butt plug on one end. Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now solo we're going to do solo. Round. Wait, is there a version where you can play with other people? Bop it, pass it. Uh, Bop it, pass it, yeah. Bop it, twist it, pull it, twist it. Bop it, pass it. <laughs> this is great. So this is the, this is. The, oh no! That was twist it. Oh. Do it one more time. There you go. Now press bop it. How to use this thing. You're out. What? Did it say to do anything? You accidentally hit bop it. Oh. No. So, no false positives We're there. All out. <laughs> we suck already. Twist it. Pull it. Pull it. Woo! Pass it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just like hot potato bop it <laughs> just knock everything just, off just destroy the podcast oh no almost okay. made it a full cycle so that was a lot of fun but we're, what I want to do is that each one of us are actually going to play solo. Okay. And while we're doing that, everyone else, we can just talk about whatever you guys want to talk about because Great. it's still a podcast. Mm-hmm. And right now we just had a couple minutes of almost silence. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so my goal is to, we're going to compete solo and whoever gets the most points after about a few, after a few minutes okay. is going to be declared the winner. We'll all get like three attempts. The boppest. The boppest. Who will be the boppest of us all? And then yeah, and that that's that's the whole thing. So we're just gonna do solo. And you guys say great. So the question is, do you actually want to win this, Brittany? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe. I do love a bop it, but I more love a bop it when I'm walking around like a Target or a Walmart and I'm just playing it while I'm shopping. <laughs> just while you're because <laughs> I'm that wow. person. I got five. Okay. I think I can do better than five. Well, too bad. You already blew your load there on you it. Go. Now you press pop it. Too bad. No, I get two more no. tries. We all get three tries. No. Yeah, well, I got to fill in 15 minutes. 
I just like telling him no. He gets really like upset. To tell me no. He gets, it gets really me, upset. It gets me really going. He gets really riled. Like I know I can do this. <laughs> oh, this is. I bet this is great audio. Just three people talking and Bobby. one Over silent person. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> is this a terrible episode? You're Bobby. welcome. Yeah, it's my Bobby. fault. Hutch has a, like a very intense look yeah. on his face oh, he as he bumps. He's he like gazing into the middle Bobby. distance, just That's, like no, just focus I'm on just the audio. I'm just trying to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's just a silly game that every time I go to Walmart, I end up playing. I always wanted to like buy one, but it was just like fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. How much was it on Amazon? It was eleven. Ooh. So I saved Save four dollars. Four dollars and several years of not owning a bop it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hutch is winning. <laughs> Yeah, he is. He's got that. that ah! We had a focus on. <laughs> He's him. got that like DDR blood in him. So. That, that's true. I do have well, that. Do you what know what your score? number was? Because it just said it. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that it was forty. I don't know. It was like forty six. Forty six works for me. Thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty six. Well, good. I'm glad we got to hear it one more time. It, so, how do you feel about that number? Uh, that's a pretty good number. Um, yeah, it's it. divisible by two and three. Um, do and you believe that you could beat your current record? I think I could. Um, maybe not in this environment. We'll see. But yeah, it's a little hard while we're what all do, trying to talk over What are it. you doing to train for this? Uh, I'm eating my Wheaties. I'm getting okay. three hours of sleep. I, I should At probably work on that. Three hours <laughs> of sleep is not enough. No, it's not nearly enough. Oh, I enough. can't hear what it said. I only got 15. I couldn't okay. hear the last thing it said. Mm. Nope. There you go. Cool. You got it, Jairus. So, I'm going to tease future content. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, Josh mentioned in our Discord that, uh, you know, they are selling... Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies. cookies. That's right. Variants of what we have. Yeah. So he so, has diff- the other Thin Mints that we talked about in our episode. That's crazy because he just lives in Virginia. Yeah. So like I thought you had to get so further away he, he to also get has, different. He also has the Samoas instead of the Caramel Delights. Uh-huh. And he also has the different S'mores. Are they different I, though or they just have different names? No, they're different. They're different they're and different? they have different names. Like so, the Thin Mints are not uh, like ours at all. They're soft. They, 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 they look a lot thicker. So I have one of each coming. Oh, so, okay. Part, all right, well. So Food Club Part 2, get ready for that. Get ready. It's coming down. More Girl Scout cookies. I'm so excited. <laughs> the ones um, we couldn't buy. I even got one of the gluten-free oh. like. Oh. So, but it's... No, oh, oh, so close. Too short. Came in close. Yeah. All right. You I think the key is figuring out how to hold it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my strategy is to just have a good, like, you know, make sure a close grip to the uh, the pull because that takes a lot more mm. effort to, well, a lot less effort to get that. Yeah. Brian's using uh, one hand holding, mm-hmm. um, and he's got one hand that's doing the jazz flute. Um, <laughs> I think I I think you and I both found that holding it like a baby mm-hmm. is a, a little bit better, and yep. then using different hands to work different mm-hmm. particular things. Yeah. <laughs> so there is um, what is it charades that you play with your phone? You put like on your head, and then you have to like people are convincing or trying to act out or or. Or give you clues to what's on the phone. That's the, is that charades? It's not charades, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. That, that game's really fun. I, I like playing that. Or you have to like guess what you are or something like that. Who am I? Who you are? I've seen it with like people. What's my name? Like you have someone from history on your name, like Cleopatra or whatever, and you have to yeah. ask like, did I live in modern times or ancient times or whatever? It's kind of like twenty questions almost. Uh huh. Yeah, that was really fun. I haven't played that in a while. Yeah. You know one thing I haven't played? I So I got... Exp- have you played Exploding Kittens? Either of you? Squidikins? Like, Exploding Kittens. Oh, oh, oh. No, I um, No. I have it, it's and I, I would like oatmeal, to play it. Right? I made by the, the Oatmeal. Oh, maybe. Webcomic. two. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I well I was confused because I was like, you were didn't seem like you were playing too long, but you just going quick. He was going fast. Oh. oh. You got oh he went to oh. sleep. Oh. With the batteries down. Bop right it. Now. Pull it. There you go. I just wanted to bop it. Alright. Fifth D two. Bop but yeah, uh, I, probably, I I thought this would just be really dumb, and I also just popped up on my Amazon list. I was like, oh, bot. 
I didn't even think you about it. You should start just playing a it. game where whatever Amazon suggests to you, you should just buy it. And just make a whole, no. like, a whole and thing out of it. And just see, like, where it takes you. Okay. Mm. Well, maybe next month I'll do that when we get paid again. Retrain their model. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. It's, I hard, it's hard when you're not... Brian's going for the W. My, uh, I did go for the W. I lost my concentration. It, yeah. <clears throat> so I completely zoned out uh, and did not focus on anything you guys said. I had no idea you guys what you were talking about. He was in the Poppet place. I was. Mm. I, the, my favorite place, the Poppet place. Bob, the Bob Tobia. Zone. <laughs> Do you guys ever, dis- you ever go to the Discovery Zone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love the place. So we had this uh, museum uh, for kids in Tampa that was a lot like the Discovery Zone, but honestly, I thought it was better. Yeah. And I always went there, and the one thing I did there was I went to the hurricane room. You know how they have those hurricane tubes or yeah. whatever? It was a whole room. That was, too that was like that. Wait, wait, hold on a second. We're talking about two different things here. You're thinking of Discovery Place. I'm no. thinking of Discovery Zone, which I've been is Discovery Zone. It's like a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, oh, no, no, the no, big no, old no. jumble, but without the creepy mouth. Yeah, it was, <laughs> and it fine. was lit really well. Like I remember the difference between Discovery Zone and Chuck E. Cheese. Is that Chuck E. Cheese was really dark? Yeah, <laughs> I never. Yeah. And Discovery Zone was really like had a lot of natural light in it. <laughs> I, mean, I never went to a Chuck E. Cheese because I don't think there was one near us. But I think that actually took the place of the Discovery Zone that was in Winston. It might have been. Yeah, it was in front of the mall, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. still at 52, so I'm going to pass on to you so oh. you can break it one more time. Give you another opportunity. You have to go really fast. Mm-hmm. Bop to I'm, fast. Gi- I'm, gi- I'm giving uh, everyone that one more shot to beat me. He's so humble. I believe in Hutch. <laughs> Let's avoid distracting Hutch. Oh, no. I heard you believe in me, and then that was my downfall. <laughs> Can't ever believe in Hutch. That's his downfall. No. Believe in beans. That's what you want. I wonder if someone's ever made like a song to that beat. There's probably at least 10 remixes on sound. Yeah, I'm sure there's a fucking bop it remix out there. (laughs) Too slow. Fuck this thing. Well, you know what? That was fun. Once fun. again, Next Brian just, just wanted an excuse to prove that he's good at <laughs> shitty games nobody cares about. That's so, right. So this Next thing, time you should get a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I, will, I will fucking blow at that. This new iteration of the bop, it looks like this could be used as a good weapon against... Uh, you know yeah, what? you could probably kill a man with that, too. <laughs> We're going to call this the episode. You. All it the would cheer you on and be like, bop it. Bop it. Bop it. Bop it. Bop it. Pull it. (laughs) It looks like a a combination of gas handle. Yeah. 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 Um, And also kind of like a trumpet. So there's also crazier boppets with like 18 different things. Yeah, there's other things. It's like flick it. I I, I definitely wanted the most basic ass one. I, I'll be, I have seen that Make one. Make it reach like orgasm. Can you like, have one that's just like all sexual? It's like finger it, flick it, <laughs> stroke Deeper. it, suck it, deeper. deeper. <laughs> ah! Yeah, it just like, moans in a robot voice. High score, ten minutes. <laughs> Beat, beat, pass it. Beat, 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 pass it. Beat, beat, If you guys enjoy this content, you can pay us on Patreon. <laughs> and you'll get this content before anyone else. We'll, we'll get you the, the remix we just created. Thanks you, to uh, Jairus. Sorry we made you do this. <laughs> um, legally, we're supposed to apologize. Oh. Fuck you. You have to send in writing. I am so sorry for this. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag blame Brian. This is what happens when we let Brian do things. That's true. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Heat Wave. We'll see you next week with probably some worse bullshit. Sorry if you were listening. That probably sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you can check us out on YouTube if Bye. that was too weird for you. Bye. It won't get any better. No. Bye.